Hello there, Whip here, and welcome back to another mod showcase. And today I'm going to be showing you a mod called the Pandora's Box mod. Now, this mod is quite similar to the Lucky Blocks mod, which I um, reviewed a few weeks ago. And how this mod works is that it adds a chest into Minecraft, which, when opened, does all sorts of crazy effects on your world. It can spawn mobs, it can give you loads of experience, and it can just make really hellish looking things and things that kill you and it's really awesome so yeah and you may be noticing I'm not using shaders for this and that's because some of the things that this Pandora's box does are so extreme that my shaders just lag out my minecraft and I can't actually <laughs> see anything so I've had to disable shaders for this um, but yeah so we're just gonna jump into this you can actually craft the Pandora's box so to actually craft it you're gonna need four bits of redstone and an ender pearl in the center and then four wooden planks like so and then all you need to do is place down your Pandora's box and it'll instantly activate it. And let me just check I'm not on peaceful. Good, I'm on easy. Make sure you're on easy because otherwise some of the effects won't work. So let's just go over here and I'm going to place it down and let's see what happened. Okay, well that was a relatively small one. We've got four jungle trees surrounding some water. Um, well, it's interesting. It's like some kind of shrine. Uh, let's go over to a different location and then test out another one. For this video, I'm just going to go through loads of these and see what kind of insane effects there are. There are so many, I'm not going to be able to cover all of them. But look at that, we've managed to generate a forest. Wow, that's actually a really useful one. If you could only determine which exact one you wanted to use, that would be really useful for um, covering an area with forest instead of having to place down saplings. But let's just go over here and, uh, I don't know, let's place another one down. Uh, sometimes it lags a bit and you don't actually know what's happened until it's a bit later. Um, I have noticed that the um, surrounding area has changed a bit, look. We've got random structures with TNT and ores in them. I mean, what is what is happening? There's a bookshelf as well. It seems like it's just changed the surrounding area into random blocks. It's just replaced some stone with random blocks. Well, that's a peculiar one. Uh, let's just use it again. What have we got? Wow, we've just, we've just created a um, mushroom biome, look. We've got mushrooms everywhere. We've got, even got some mushrooms. Hello, mushroom. Hello there. I'm just going to punch you. But yeah, well that was an interesting one. You can see they're massively terrain changing ones that just change the whole terrain around you. Let's right click again. What have we got now? Oh, it's another one of those forest generating ones. Wow, it's looking quite nice now. Look, I've, I've created my own biome. Amazing. <laughs> you can just create your own biomes with these things. Oh, oh no, that's a death trap. <laughs> it's just removed everything below me and it goes straight down to bedrock. And what was that? Did I just hear TNT? Where was that? I can't see any explosions. Where are the holes? Where's the craters? If there was TNT, I don't even know. Oh, no, it's not over there. Um, oh, holy crap. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Can you see why I didn't use shaders now? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> oh no. I think what's happened is earlier I turned all of the ground under dirt into TNT. And as you can see, it's it's just blowing up my whole world. Oh my god. Well, if you wanted explosions, you've got them now. Look at this. This is crazy. Wow. Oh, there's a mine shaft down there. Uh, <laughs> it's never going to stop, is it? It's never going to stop. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. Has it finished? I think it has. Holy crap. Wow. As I said, these can be very destructive. And that one was definitely that. Well... All that lovely biome that I created is now completely gone. So, yeah, we better just move over to a different location and test out another one. Wow, I was not expecting that at all. That is insane. Okay, let's just right click again. What have we got this time? Nothing. Nothing at all. Brilliant. That's <laughs> wow. Did it not do anything at all? Or did it give me something? No, it didn't. Okay, well, I don't know what it did. Uh, let's right click this one. It's given me loads of experience. That's definitely an experience giving one. Uh, what about this next one? You can see some of them are really small and some of them are really big and I just lagged and suddenly there's a mountain around me. I, I don't even know. This is insane. You just don't know what's going to happen. It's like created the Far Lands in Minecraft. I mean, look at this. It's just <laughs> raised up some blocks. Wow. Okay then, well if you want to create the Far Lands, you can do that, uh, <laughs> using one of these Pandora's boxes. Uh, let's right click again. Uh, probably should do it at the top so I can actually see what's going on here. Okay, it's put me in a cage. Oh no, I feel like a squid. Let me out. Let me out of here. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, we're out, we're out. Oh, okay. Let's go over a different location and try another one. Uh, wow. Um, 
This is just crazy, you just have no idea what's going to happen. We've now got loads of diamonds and ores in massive stacks everywhere. In fact, I think it's just converted all the blocks in the surrounding area to random ores and blocks. Um, well, this is really good if you wanted to get loads of ores. And um, presuming you can actually craft this, because you can, um, this would be really useful if you actually got this one, because you'd get an infinite supply of diamonds. <laughs> but yeah, there we go, so that's that one. Let's just keep doing this then, there seems to be a lot of possibilities. So we're going to right click again. Sometimes nothing happens, it's really disappointing, I was expecting something to happen, and oh, we've lagged, and I'm now in a tree. Yep, that's happened, I am in a tree. Uh, I can't get out either, where's the exit? What has happened? It's a maze of trees and I can't escape. Maybe it'd be better to just go up. Yeah, there we are. Wow. Now that is one seriously dense forest. It's just every single block has turned into a tree. Wow. That's epic. It's like a whole biome creating block. You just place down the chest and suddenly you got a new biome. It's amazing. Let's just go over here so we've actually got some space so I can see what's happening. Uh, I'm just expecting another one of those TNT ones and I'm just going to destroy all of my handiwork. Uh, let's just go down here. Right click. Oh, look at that. We've got a massive spherical dome kind of thing made of glass and we've got loads of mobs spawning. Uh, there is a squid over here that spawned, but sadly there's no water for you, so you're going to die. Poor little squiddy. Oh well, and that mushroom is in the grass. Oh no, I've got to save the sheep. No, I've just punched the sheep. Not intended. <laughs> is that a spike or what was that? Oh, stalagmite. Ah, oh, that was from Biomes of Plenty. But look at this. We've even got some bats. It's like a um, biosphere full of different animals and stuff. So yeah, that's a cool one. Uh, let's go over to this autumn woods and place another one down. Uh... I'm just waiting for the imminent something to happen. Oh, I know what it's given me. It's given me some armor and a diamond axe and a golden halibut and everything. So yeah, it can give you some really useful tools as well. But I don't know if it's worth activating these when you've seen some of the destructive things that it can do uh, on the off chance that you might actually get a good one. I don't think it's really worth it. So let's try out some more of these Pandora's boxes. It's actually becoming quite addictive to do this because I don't know what's going to happen. I really like seeing the effects of some of these. Wow, look at that. That's a massive sphere full of water that I've just been placed in the center of. Wow, no squids in there, just me. Unless I'm a squid, but no, that's a conspiracy. I'm not a squid, I'm a sheep. <laughs> oh dear, any excuse to use a sheep impression. Right, let's right click again, see what we've got. Wow, look at this, it's like some kind of Candyland thing, we've got lollipops everywhere, and it's like some kind of mystical fantasy candy world. Wow, we've got some kind of sweet ring here, look at it, it's amazing. And also, I love the um, coloured clay everywhere as well, adds to that kind of child feeling of candy and lovely delicious things. And of course there's cake and cookies everywhere, which makes it ten times better. Uh, let's just go to a different area so I don't ruin this landscape here. Okay, let's use another one. And we've just got loads of particles and nothing appears to have happened. Which is a bit of a shame. That was a bit anticlimactic. Actually, I think it gave me this shovel, didn't it? <laughs> I keep forgetting to check my inventory. The amount of times I've right-clicked and said that it did nothing and it's actually given me something. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Anyway, let's right-click. What the? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> it just spawned cows with TNT blocks attached to them. <laughs> Oh, of course, you can now make things ride entities, and since TNT is an entity and so is a cow, you can make TNT ride a cow, and the TNT has been primed, so the TNT explodes. Okay then, so <laughs> I wasn't expecting that one. That was certainly not on my list of possibilities. Let's go over here and use another one. Okay, we've now been placed in the middle of a lava lake on a platform with lava surrounding us, and now I'm going to set the forest on fire because of that fire there. No, no, bad fire. Okay. Uh, let's go to the top of this and try it out again. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> what has that done? It's just turned everything into wool, glowstone lamps, and uh, actually they're lamp, yeah, redstone lamps, not glowstone lamps. Oh dear. And we've also got TNT. Um, so tempted to detonate, detonate this. Let's actually do that. Redstone, needed. Let's detonate this TNT. <laughs> Every time this TNT just needs to be detonated. It's just something you have to do. Although I didn't think about how many there actually are. Okay. Yep. That's quite a lot of explosions. <laughs> wow. Well, I've just decimated that whole hill there, but that was quite quite enjoyable. I enjoyed that. Uh, okay, let's go on to another one. Oh, it's another one of those four tree. That's quite a popular one. Always turns up. Uh, let's right click again. Oh, now we've got TNT flying everywhere. There seems to be a lot of TNT ones in this. Let's right click again. More TNT. Wow, as if there wasn't enough TNT already. Oh, wow. Is it following me? Don't follow me, TNT. Uh, right click again. Um. Uh. Um. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Actually, it did do something. Look, over here we've got loads of 
random trees. I wonder what the radius is of the effects of these Pandora's boxes, because it does seem to be doing things miles away, <laughs> and not actually right next to me. But we appear to have golden trees now. I think that was the last one I used. And we've still got explosions going on over there. Wow. Okay, another one time. Wow, okay, just covered everywhere in snow. That's got quite a large radius, actually. I mean, look at that. It's probably about 100 blocks radius. Okay, we've got loads of horses here. Uh, let's detonate one by these horses, just to be evil. Um, well, it just showered blocks everywhere. Let's use another one. And now we've got more mobs everywhere. Whoa! Okay, this is quite a dark one. We've got gas spawning, endermen, creepers, horrible um, mobs. Is that a spider riding a witch? <laughs> Look at that! It's like a spider's head with a nose from a witch. Wow. Okay, that's that's a weird thing. I've <laughs> is that just me, or does that gas look really small? Yeah, or a gas always that small? They look tiny. Look, it's a tiny gas. Okay. <laughs> We've got blazes over here, and that's a slime riding a bat. Okay, this is a very weird thing. <laughs> okay, let's use another one. Uh. Wow, another mushroom biome, and let's keep going. I think I'm pretty much exhausting all the different possibilities now. I think we've had everything that this mod can throw at us. Wow, look at that, it's like a sphere of random blocks being placed in a lovely spherical pattern. Uh, we've got some bricks here, and some mossy stone. Let's use another one. Okay, that's a lot of lag. Wow, what the hell? It's just stripped back all the water and exposed the bottom of the ocean. And we've got all that gravel there as well. And we've got this massive, like, tidal wave kind of appearance of um, water here. Is it going to try and slowly reclaim this land, or is it just going to stop? And look at all those squids! Wow! That's a lot of squids. It's like all the squids have been pushed back with the water as I removed it. And now we can see the extent of that thing I spawned earlier. We've got, like, a massive hemisphere of all of those random blocks. Okay then. Well, I'm going to end it now. I think I've used a lot of those Pandora's boxes now and showed you lots of the possibilities. And if you want to check out the rest of them, you can download this mod and see what you get. I will warn you that it's quite laggy, as you saw. I mean, even with my computer, I was getting quite a lot of lag when we had all those TNT ones. And, of course, the ones that just added loads of forests everywhere. But, as usual, if you've enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you next mod video. Thank you.